Greetings, one and all, and welcome back to the Age of Sail Tournament and From the Depths with your host, Chromoid. Today, in episode 12, we'll be watching the Sumiko Stick Thingy on the left by Headsetless Leaner, facing off against the SWR Pompadour C by Crazy Ninja 47. This is the last quarterfinal fight of this tournament. After this, we go to the semifinals and then the grand finale. We've already seen both of these ships fight, so we're going to get right into the action in 3, 2, 1, go. All right, the fleet settling into the water, the Pompadour settling in. These are both beautiful, beautiful ships. Couple of shots there. Yep, there they go. Good hits, good hits. The Sumikos are giving the uh, Pompadour a good first volley here. Those are on target. Whew. That is some serious damage. There goes the prow of the uh, Pompadour. Oh my goodness. It needs to get underway. It is in combat mode. I don't know what the deal is here. Come on, Pompadour, you need to start moving or that's going to be the end of you. It's got a hefty broadside of its own, it just needs to turn around and get it to bear. These fleet entries, though, make these uh, single entries kind of spaz out a bit, because they can't figure out who they're going to aim at sometimes. We'll see how that works here. <laughs> oh, I hope this Sumiko doesn't fire through its sister ship over there. It probably won't. It's not got a good angle on the... Uh... Oh, dear. I was warned about this. I was told that they uh, tended to fire on themselves sometimes, and uh, it seems it's just done that. I'm not sure what just happened there, but uh, most of those mortars on the sides are gone. Yeah, Leaner, you might want to put those mortars a little further forward. Doggone it. Stop it. You might want to put those a little further forward next time. They're hitting their own wooden blocks. Ooh, sorry, I'm missing important things. There we go. Oh man, the Pompadour is looking very, very sad. It's about to lose this second mast. The forward one is gone, and this one's not doing so well. It needs to turn and face an opponent quickly. Only less than two minutes in, the Sumikos are making almost as short a work of the Pompadour as they did of the Himitard in the last battle. Nope, there's some shots. The Pompadour's finally got some shots off. Let's see if it can get that broadside to bear. Come on. Oh dear. It's been facing them from head on though, so most of its guns are still alive, fortunately. At least I think they are. Yep, there goes that mast, finally despawned. Sorry about this, I'm a little sketchy on the mouse today. There we go. And here we go, another shot from the cannons there. Two and a half minutes in, and we finally get a volley from the Pompadour, the first proper one, I believe. Let's see what it does. Hmm. Well, there's some damage. Oh, dear. That sudden backward movements can only mean one thing. There was an ammo deposit on the front of the Sumiko, and it just got blown up. It jerked the ship backwards, but otherwise it seems fine. Not a lot of sail damage. That front one took some damage. It's pretty much been neutralized. The front part of this sail has been neutralized, but the back part's still good, and the back one here is good, too. <laughs> Look at that little AI. Try to sort out what he's going to do with life here. The Sumikos are doing pretty well. They're holding their own against the Pompadour. Look at that fleet. Isn't that just gorgeous? Kind of a stalemate right now. They're trying to get into position. I keep confusing the front of the Sumikos with the rear. That's the front right there. It's going in for a ram. Oh dear. The Pompadour, I better look out. Rams are very lethal against wooden ships. Oh, this one's not doing well at all. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, it's been it's been shredded. Down to 84%. This one's coming right in for that ram. Look at this. This brave little Sumiko and his sister is right behind it, ready to do some more damage. They're probably going to end up hitting each other, unfortunately. Forward guns firing point blank into the side of the Pompadour as they close. And I'm about to lock up here in about... Yep. Right about now. To back out. Oh, the Pompadour just realized the threat. It's firing, but most of its guns can't face that Sumiko. Oh, it's trying to turn now. See it spinning a little bit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We're about to see something really epic here. 
I've only seen this happen in one, well, two other fights. And the second fight, it almost, it almost ended one of the ships. Hey, okay. speaking of course about the uh, precursor versus the Barracuda fight, precursors used this very same tactic to great effect and nearly bisected the Barracuda, but we'll see how the Sumikos do in this case. And impact. Right to the side. I can't really see what's going on. Okay, let's move around here and see what's going on from the front. I'm going to back out because this is making my mouse look more wobbly than it really is. Ugh. The mouse skills are not with me today. There we go. Alright, so just a little chunk off the front of the pompadour, but it is rotating it for, uh, to the side. Which is very bad for the pompadour. I'll stop making y'all seasick now. Try to spin around here in a more refined way. There we go. Hmm. Seems that that Sumiko kind of missed when it tried to go in for the, for the uh, ram. Hit the prow of the uh, pompadour, but not the midsection. And now its sister here is firing on its own its own ally. That's not good, Sumikos. You don't want to fire on each other. You want to hit that thing. Keep in mind that the Sumikos actually, as a whole, have a lot more materials in them than the uh, the Pompadour. At least I believe. The Pompadour is at 40,000. Sumikos have 26,944 pieces. That's roughly 70,000 materials. Their fleet is much, much stronger or should be much stronger than the Pompadour. But with the Pompadour has already shown us once that it does not care how many more materials the opposing team has. It can take the damage and deal it right back out. Okay, this Sumiko is finally getting raking fire on the front of the Pompadour, and it's looking very, very badly damaged. It's listing heavily. Of course, it got pushed over by the Sumiko, so that's going to be part of the problem. I think it's starting to right itself again, maybe a little bit. But this is looking very sketchy. Whoops. Very, very sketchy for the Pompadour right now. I don't like I don't like its chances right now. Oh dear. Ammo detonation underneath the Pompadour. Well, those guns will get a good good shot off at least. <laughs> they got a great angle now. Maybe that lift will actually mess them up, who knows? Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh, the Pompadour just got cored. Did it have all of its ammo in one place? Oh, no. That was a huge chain reaction, lifting it clean up into the air. Oh, wow. Uh, the Sumikos have collided, of course. And another explosion. This could be another chain reaction. No, nope, apparently not. Just one. And the whole bottom of the hole is gone. The pompadour, nope, it's lifting off. Jeez. Having its hole exposed during those liftoffs like that has really helped the Sumikos. They can pummel that relatively thin armor at the bottom with great ease and penetrate through to the ammo storages underneath. And their broadside, they're at a 45 broadside on both on the front and the side of the uh, pompadour. They're just raking it back and forth. Wow, I do not think the Pompadour has much left in it after that. Two Sumikos still relatively healthy, most of their sails still intact. One Sumiko stranded out here without a sail or a prayer, but its sisters are taking care of the Pompadour quite handily. 67% the Pompadour has been absolutely hammered. Does it have anything left in this fight? We'll be able to pull out a miracle here. I don't think its guns are working, ladies and gentlemen. I think the, I think all the ammunition has been detonated. It has no more cannonballs to fire. And if that is the case, then the Pompadour has unofficially lost because it can no longer apply, and the Sumikos will just sail around in circles, firing broadside after broadside until it either despawns or the timer runs out. We still have just under 11 minutes left in this fight. We could very well be looking at another despawn here. crew member over there working on the sail. <laughs> the 
those are NPCs. Uh, they're not very functional in this game right now, but they do have the ability to steer. Uh, which I guess one is actually doing, I'm not sure. <coughs> oh my goodness, the Pompadour has just lost its AI. The Pompadour will despawn due to being AI dead. And there it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, with just over, just under 10 minutes, the Sumikos have killed the AI core of the Pompadour and despawned it. After trashing its hull, blowing up its ammo storages, they finally found the AI and killed it. And your winner of this episode is the Sumiko Stick Thingy. Congratulations, Headsetless Leaner. Your ship will be going on to the semifinals. And my condolences, Crazy Ninja. Ah, uh, man, your beautiful, beautiful Pompadour has had its last promenade on the high seas. Hope to see you again in a future tournament, man. And thank you both for participating, and thank you everyone for watching this. And until next time, I have been Chromoid, and this is the Age of Sail Tournament. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.